some major stores and restaurants here in the United States are actually issuing a massive warning to consumers. I want to break down which ones these are, but I want to break down what is happening as well. Because the three that we are looking at today, Walmart, Target, McDonald's, they have just sent a massive, uh, a very severe okay, warning to consumers. And what they are doing at this time is something that we need to look into. So I'm going to break all this down in just a moment. But all I ask is one thing. It takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So why are we going to talk about a warning that has been issued by Walmart, Target, and McDonald's? It's because we are now seeing the people with higher incomes are shopping at Walmart and Target and at McDonald's. They are looking to buy the less expensive items. With people that have more money coming in and buying the less expensive items, that means the people that have lower incomes that are hoping to get those items might not be able to get them. Just look at this though. Here's another warning. Walmart is laying off and relocating hundreds of corporate workers across the country. Why would Walmart do this? Well, first off, they're trying to relocate workers. They're trying to bring people back into the office. They are tired of remote workers. Well, guess what? If Walmart decides, you know what? We don't want anybody working remotely. We want everybody coming back to the office. Guess what's going to happen to all those other stores? They're going to follow. They're going to do the exact same thing. Because when Walmart makes a move, every other store has to keep up. Target included. It says right here, Walmart is laying off and transferring hundreds of its corporate employees. The company is relocating remote workers and those at its Dallas, Toronto, and Atlanta offices. It says the discounter is currently building a new headquarters in its hometown of Bentonville, Arkansas. You know, that's part of the reason why. But again, keep in mind, Walmart is still laying off employees as well. Okay, because hundreds of employees from their corporate offices aren't needed. They just don't need them anymore. This is the concern, is Walmart is trying to make a little bit extra money. Why? Because they can't keep raising prices. This is what Walmart is saying. They have to start to lower their prices or keep them flat or else they risk consumers stop coming into Walmart itself. But it doesn't stop there. Look at Target. It says Target cuts prices on thousands of basic items to lure budget shoppers away from Walmart. This is about 5,000 products will have reduced prices this summer as the Minneapolis retailer tries to appeal to deal seekers. If you wanna, if you wanna go into a Walmart, you're gonna see some of the lowest prices, you know, anywhere. Doesn't matter if it's Walmart, doesn't matter if it's Target, uh, you know, Costco, Sam's Club, whatever, right? You go into Walmart, lowest prices. You go into Target. You have a little more lighting, it's a little bit cleaner, you have different shoppers, right? It's a different demographic. But Target now wants to cut prices on thousands of basic items to get people back to Target as opposed to only going to Walmart. You know who used to shop at Target? People that were making over $100,000 per year. They were the ones shopping at Target. They were the ones buying, you know, makeup that was, you know, about 50% more expensive than it was at Walmart. They're the ones buying, you know, uh, you know, food again, about 50% more expensive. Buying clothing that was more expensive than if they were to go to the mall. But that's what they were buying, right? They had a little bit extra money. They don't have that anymore because prices keep going up. But here's the key: Why would Target cut prices now? Because they understand everybody has went from Target to Walmart. They're trying to save money. This is where things get very interesting when it comes to McDonald's. McDonald's has now said that they are gonna have a $5 value meal. It's gonna come in June. So about a week, two weeks away. It's staying for just one month though. Why is this? Well, here's what I can tell you. 
McDonald's is trying to get people back to McDonald's. Remember all the talk about $18 Big Mac meal? Yeah. Well, that hurt McDonald's. You know who's taking some of the, the business from McDonald's? It's Wendy's. Wendy's has used to have a $4 meal. Okay, they used to have the four, the four for four. It was four items for $4. That was it. Come with a, a burger, come with nuggets, come with fries, come with a drink. $4. That was it. Well, even Wendy's couldn't do that much longer. They had to raise the price. Now I believe the minimum is like $5. It's like the $5 biggie bag or something. That right there is what McDonald's has to compete with. So let's read this. It says, McDonald's $5 value meal will run for roughly a month beginning on June 25th. It says the offering will include four items, a McChicken or a McDouble, four-piece chicken nuggets, fries, and a drink, most likely small fries and small drink. It says the month-long promotion comes at a time when restaurants are finally beginning to feel a long-anticipated consumer pullback. I talked about this before. Where I talked about and I told you when uh, you go through like McDonald's, you go through a Taco Bell or whatever, you go through drive through or even, you know, sit in the parking lot, whatever. The the thing that you're, you were seeing before is you would see pulling through the McDonald's drive through You'd see a, a little Honda Civic. You'd see a little older Toyota Camry, right? You would see a minivan, right? Older minivan. Now what we're seeing you see uh, the new Suburbans, the new Escalades. You see a, a Rivian, right? Teslas. Okay, you see the, the bigger trucks, you know, most likely newer. People have money that are going to McDonald's. You know what you don't see anymore? You don't see the, the old Honda Civic. You don't see that. You don't see the, the Mitsubishi Glant. You don't see these, you know, old Toyotas. You don't see those things. The reason is because the people that have more money are now shopping at McDonald's. The problem is that was not their their target consumer. Their target consumer okay, for, for McDonald's and for Walmart were lower income earners. That is who the bulk of their consumers were. That's where they want to get back to. And so this is why they're, they're sending out this warning and telling them, yeah, we're going to cut prices. We have to. We have to compete with Target and Walmart. We are going to cut prices because we need to bring our consumers back. We're cutting prices for Walmart or for McDonald's because they understand many people can't afford a $10, $12 meal or an $18 Big Mac meal. Can't afford it. Even an $8 Happy Meal. That doesn't make many people happy. And so... That's what we're facing. Keep in mind that McDonald's thing right here, it's only going to go for a month. But the reason why it's just going to be for a month is because they want to test it. Want to see as many people come in for only one month. See if it has any success. If it does, this, this whole value meal may go away for a little bit, but then it's going to come roaring right back and we're going to see this stay. So just expect that over the next few months, we're gonna see some changes. Some of these changes are going to be massive, but the good news is they should help you and your wallet. So we'll see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you right now is I will be here every step of the way. I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates. All I ask again is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoyed today's update. Also click that subscribe button so you never miss an update and I'll see you guys on the next one.